Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add narration slash commentary slash voiceover. They're all the same thing on iMovie 11. Now, if you don't have this program, leave a comment and I can show you how to do it in other programs, including Windows. So if you have Sony Vegas and you want to learn how to do it on that, I'll show you on that. But if there is any other programs as well, and I have it, then I might do a tutorial on that as well. So yeah, if you have iMovie 11, I personally think this is the best uh, program for doing voiceover as it's so simple to do as I'll show you now. So first you want to open up iMovie and as you can see here I have my sample video again. I'm just going to turn down this audio so when I show you soon on how to do it it doesn't get in the way. So I'll just turn down that audio. Alright. So you can see here where my mouse pointer is there is a record a voice over microphone icon. You want to click on this and as you can see here, I have a default at 63 because uh, I'm used to talking at a same amount of volume for my voice. So that means if I raise it higher to something like this, ready, look at these green bars. Just ready? I'll do an example. La la la. Say it red, red then. As you can see there, it's a bit too high for what my normal voice volume is uh, used to. So that's why I have it down at... 63 or so, 60s around that. So if a, if you have a volume of a voice just like mine, I recommend around the 60s because if you go too high and you do speak a bit loud, then it might be, become screechy and then it can ruin your uh, voiceover or commentary. So yeah, it's best to have it lower than higher. Unless you have a really soft voice, then you might be a, take it up to maybe 70. So you can add the noise reduction as well. I have mine at the top and you can have a voice enchantment. And you can also play the project audio while recording. I don't suggest that because uh, that means it can come in the background and that means you could have basically two audios of the same video coming through your built-in microphone or whatever microphone you're using. So yeah, as you can see here, you can record from your built-in microphone or say sometimes if you have a, a different microphone plugged in that will recognize that <clears throat> and you can commentate for that but all new generation Macs contain a built-in microphone so if you see the little camera at the top of your Mac that is a camera and it re can record audio that is actually what I'm doing right now recording with my uh, camera slash video recorder or audio recorder so if you have a built-in microphone use that because it's great quality I have to uh, admit it's pretty good quality but if you do have a better say plug-in mic then you can use that as well if you want to so I'm just going to show you how to do the clip and how to audio over it so what you want to do is take your little icon while you have it clicked here and while you're commentating you can also view it over here so you know what you're commentating about so what you want to do is click where you want to play and start recording I'm just going to give you an example about ScreenFlow I'll just do my introductory and a little bit about it. So I'm going to start from the start because that's where I usually do it. So yeah, just watch the green bars while I'm doing it and then just I'll talk to you at the end. So I'll start now. Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia and today we'll be looking at screen flow. So as you can see there, the bars were all green and it was perfect and I can actually, if my uh, voice went lower, I can actually change the audio here. I can click audio and I can make it a bit higher. But I think it's perfect for at the moment because there's not much audio in the background so people can hear my voice perfectly. Yeah. So you can see here, hey, I'll play it back. Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia and today we'll be looking at screen flow. So you see it has a purple bar to show you how long the commentary has gone for and you can also move this around if you didn't start in the right spot. So hopefully enjoy this little tutorial on how to add narration slash commentary slash voiceover to your projects in iMovie. If you have any other programs or suggestions for any kind of video on any Windows or Mac program, then I'll sure to get a video up for that. But yeah, that's the end and I'll see you guys later.